everyone, my name is Gokizi. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. Please subscribe. You're going to see a red button right down there. Just click on it to subscribe. Then you see a tiny bell. It is for notification. Just tap on the bell. You get a notification each time we put up a video. Today's tutorial will be on how to make a busted top with bread pot. And you see that. So this is what we have. This is what we're going to be making today. Just for you to understand what we are making. Though popularly it's called corset. So I just let me just quickly clear up that misconception. It is not a corset. This is not a corset. It is, it is a rusty top with breast pop. A corset is like an underwear or undergarment, usually worn just to make the waist smaller to like train the torso area. In, in most cases, it starts after the chest down to your hip area. So in most cases to train the waist to make it, you know, to give a desired shape. Though you can make a dress with these cups with a cut set. You can make them, I'm not disputing that fact, but the most ones we see around these are busted up with dress cup. Now I'm going to explain in details how to make this. There are some things you need to take into consideration. You can make for a plus size too, but usually it's usually more beautiful for average Women, but plus size people wants to make wants to put on busted top with breast pop. I'm going to explain how to achieve that. The only difference is that when making the breast pop, you need to achieve more fullness around the cup, so it has to be able to contain the boobs, the women with bigger boobs. Now, for instance, let me use myself as an example. I am of a bust circumference of 42 inches. You could have someone with the same circumference as I am with bigger boobs and even lesser boobs. So those things you need to take into consideration. So when we are working with a plus size person or someone that is even a plus size but with bigger boobs, smaller boobs, I will explain how to go about that, how to achieve more fullness, how to reduce the fullness. I'm going to explain that. So it's so easy to make and I'm going to explain how to make that now. Right now, before we get started, I want to talk about the tools. We have the tools available, the hip curve, pant curve, pattern master, hammer curve, tracing wheel, seam ripper, thread cutter, pins, the one meter ruler. We also have them in plastic. If you are interested, I'll put the contact number in the description box below. Also, for the online classes, if you are struggling with sewing, right from the basics to the advanced, we have some ongoing now. We have it every month. If you are interested, also contact us through the contact number in the description box and also in the comment section. To get started now, I just have my cardboard paper here. So I want the top to be 20, 23 inches. I'm drafting this way. I'm not adding any seam allowance to this. Pattern. So I'm just drafting the pattern. So when cutting it out, I'll add all the seam allowance. So now, usually my hip, vertical hip measurement is 24. So I want it to be above the hip. So I have a length of 23 inches here. Then the next thing should be half of my ham hole. Usually half of my ham hole is eight and half. But you, when professionally, when you're drafting on your pattern, you usually come down by half an inch when you want to cut the ham hole area. Because you don't want it exactly on your uh, just on your ham area because this is not a normal top to have your sleeve to. So that's why I came down by half an inch. So I made it nine. So half of my ham hole here is nine inches. My bust point is usually ten and a half because you'll be putting on a bra when you are putting on your top. But here now it needs to be a bit relaxed. So that's why I made it eleven inches. So half of my ham hole is nine. My bust point is. 11 inches my hundred boss remains the same 14 and a half my waist 17 then the length of the top so now here we need to get started the first thing i need to make use of is half of my boss pan that is the distance from one nipple to another for me it is nine so half of that is four and a half i'm not going to have any seam allowance to this so i'll make use of the four and a half so on this boss point line i'm just going to measure Four and a half. So come down here. And so it's straight line. Okay. 
this one I have. Then to determine the shoulder area, I'm just going to get the midpoint here. So since this is like five and a half, so half of that is two and three quarter here. Then connect straight to the most point. So you can now move forward. Then you need to determine where you outload the neckline for the in between of your boobs. So on the average, you can just measure between eight to nine. You can have it exactly here, even on your bust point line. But I'm just going to use my bust radius to do that. Usually, what we do, we use the bust radius here. But at times, you need to alter it. So it's not really compulsory, but you can just make your bust radius to as a guide. How do you determine your bust radius? Just get the distance from your bust point to your under the bust. So here I have three and a half, but usually it is four. But remember, I came down by half an inch this time around. So now for the uh, how low I want it to, to be, that is the starting point of the bust state up now. So I'm just going to use the same bust radius. So here I have three and a half. So I'm just going to measure three and a half upward from the bust point. So that is it. So that will be the starting point for the. But if you want it to like, you know, still cover a bit, you can just add half an inch to that. So maximum of half an inch is always fine. But I'm just going to use the exact three and half. So this is going to be the starting point. So now this is how high it's going to be. So how low I want the innermost part to be now, I can just measure two inches from that point. Two inches is here, or two and a half. It depends, you can even have it somewhere around here. It totally depends on your preference. From that point now, I'm going to go in by half an inch. That is the minimum you could do. Then for someone, for like a plus size person, if you still want the space to be a little bit wide, just add extra one bar, which is one sixteenth of an inch, to the half an inch. Don't do more than that. So adding extra half one bar to that, so that will be somewhere around here. Can you see that? So that is the maximum you could go. So from there, let me just... It. The same measurement you have here should be here too, just to make ensure you have a perfect straight line. So you haven't done that now. The next thing is to take in the darts before we like curve it out. So first on my waist, so you can make use of half an inch between half an inch to one inch. Usually when I make my bust it up, I make use of one inch. But for someone that is not really busty, you can make use of half an inch is fine. But for plus size, like me, I can make use of three quarter to one inch. So it depends on what I want exactly. So now I'm just going to take, let me take one inch on both sides anyway. So that is what I have here now. So on my under bust, I'm just going to go in quarter inch more than this. On my Honda bus, I'm just going to go in quarter inch more or just maintain the one inch here. Why? Because since it's going to have a cup, so the concentration is more on the cup. The cup is going to bring out the boobs. Unlike when we are making our normal bus tape top that we want it to be prominent. So we go in quarter inch more just to give it a little tightening at the under bust area. So you could just maintain this same one inch here or quarter inch more. That totally depends on your preference so if I should go in one quarter inch more it's going to be somewhere around here quarter inch more. but you could just maintain the same one inch because it is with core can you see that so now to the hem of the top I'm just going to connect it in a straight line this way then another thing, if it is for someone that doesn't have a big abdomen, what you do is this, just go in between quarter or half, 
away from this point. So if it is quarter, it will be here. If it is half, it will be here. The same thing. As I've said now, I'll just go in quarter inch here for someone that don't have big harbourman area. So quarter inch or half an inch also here. Quarter inch or half an inch. Let me just use pencil to do that. So I'll connect it from this waist area down here. Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference now? So if for someone that doesn't have Victor so that will be fine. Having done that now, I want you to listen attentively here. If it is for someone with bigger boobs, I want to connect the curve here now. You have to come down by one inch, three quarter to one inch from the bust point. This will create more fullness here. But if I'm just take it straight to this point, it won't be, the fullness won't be as much as if I just connect it here. Looking at it, here now is reduced. But if I come down now, there's much fullness around here. So that was what I was talking about. So I will explain when I get to this upper part now. So that was what I was talking about. So now for, it seems I'm using my measurement here. So I'll come down by one inch and connect it straight. It's very very easy to make so the next thing here too so but if you are making it for yourself and you don't have big groups just connect it straight to this upper part and don't use this much that if you are someone that don't have big groups just half an inch is okay but for someone with big groups this is quite fine so now we are through with that let's come to the upper part so to the upper part now, whatever I took here, I have two and a half. I'm going to take at this upper region. But what I'll do now, since it's two and a half, I'm going to maintain half here on this side. Half inch here. Now the remaining one and a half will be on the other side. Can you see what I have? Then the next thing is to connect straight to the bust point now. But if you want to have more fullness, just let me use my pencil to do that. So it's the same thing applies here for someone with lesser boobs. So you connect straight from here down here. Can you see the difference? So but if for someone with bigger boobs, just come up by one inch. So you have more space in the cups. So that's what I will have, then connect it this way. So that is it. So can you see, there's, is, if you are using this very one, it is reduced. But for this part now, for bigger boobs, you have more. So that was what I was talking about. So having done that now, I'm just going to connect it up. So the first thing now is to connect this. Can you see the way I place my handball? So not necessarily you place it this way. And make sure it hits the on the bust area because you want it exactly, especially if you're having a wire to it, you want it sitting underneath your bust. Straight to your bust point. So just take your time to adjust that. So can you see what I have? Then I come to and move to this other side so what I'm going to do now to make that easier just from this is my hammer line just make it straight down up to the boss point you see that then I'll take my hammer call and slightly this. and you see how beautiful my cup is formed now coming to this upper part now you can now decide any shape you want for this you can decide any shape you want for that so what i'll do now is this you can decide to have something like a sweetheart neck this way and you can decide to have something like this that is this way can you see so it totally depends on what you want you need to be creative as i always say so let me just 
much it obviously. So that's what I have for the curve. So coming to this side now, to be able to achieve a nice curve. So let me insert quarter of my bust measurement. Quarter of my bust circumference is 10 and a half inches. So somewhere around here. So usually we just come down by half an inch. But remember here, instead of eight and a half of half of my hand mold, I made you. So instead of coming down by, usually you come down by half an inch when you are drafting on your basic bodies. But instead of that, normally it is eight and a half. So I made use of nine. So that has been covered up with. Also this side, you can just connect slightly here before you bend it up or just connect it straight down like this. So it depends on your preference. It depends on what you want. Then before connecting this, there's another essential thing because when Coupling, uh, coupling it up, you don't want any irregularity. So what I will do now is this. I'm going to measure from here, down here. I have two and a half plus one extra bar. So I'm just going to turn it this way. So now to match up with this part, it is here. Can you see that? So let me confirm that again. From this point, this is what I have. From this point. So now I'm going to make the curve from here. Done. So you can see how beautiful the cup looks like. So now let us just insert our horizontal measurement and round this up. So as I've said now, for uh, the armhole line now, my bust, our quarter of my bust has been hardened. But looking at this dark now, you especially when you are dealing with a plus size person, you need to take note of every that you take because everything has to be replaced. So what I will do now is, this is the armhole line. I'm going to measure whatever I have here. So here I have exactly one inch here. One inch which has to be replaced back to this point. So that is what I have. Coming to this side, the waist now, I'll measure whatever I have here. I have two inches which has to be added to cut out my waist measurements. My waist circumference divided by four is nine inches. So I'm going to add this extra two inches to it to make it, that will be 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to insert 11. So 11 is here. Going to the hip area now, my upper part, the upper part of my hip. The circumference of that point is the same as my bust, which is 42. Usually my hip is 45, but because I'm using the upper part, so you need to take the measurement of that part because you want it fitted on your body. So for me, quarter of that is 10 and half. So because now, if I'm making use of this one I added quarter inch to, I need to add the half inch, the extra half inch I added to this, which I'll be taking off, I need to add it to that 10 and half to make it 11. But if I'm making use of this very one, it's not needed. But so let's just assume I'm going to use that. So I'll have that extra half I need to, 10 and a half to make it 11. Now I can connect it off. You can see it's so, so easy to make. This is what it looks like. So once this is being sewn up, you have more volume on the hip area. So that is just it on how to make your bust it up with breast cup. So let's cut it out. Before I start cutting it up now, you can make, you know, have another design to have a different fabric on this upper part. I'm going to explain how to do that quickly now. So all I'm going to do now is this. It depends on the preference. Like the one I showed you initially was just one inch. You can make it up to two inches, two and a half. It totally depends on what you want. You can just make it even up to this point. It depends on what you have. So here now is like um, two and a half. So here is like three and a half. So you can make the curve here anyhow you want it. But for me, I'm just going to make it like 
let me do like one and a half here okay that's one and a half over here that's one and a half measuring from here to one and a half or so if you want two inches all fine okay let me just make it two inches it totally depends on your preference so two inches will be here now but when i get to this upper part i'll add extra half an inch to it it gives it more beauty so if i want extra half an inch so two and a half will be exactly here then two and a half exactly here then i'll just connect with my ruler Another tip I want to give to you here is this, to avoid gaping at the upper part. What do I mean by that? You have your breast cup opening up. So what you are going to do now is to take in quarter of an inch to half an inch on this upper part here. Let me quickly show you what I meant by that. Looking at the one I have here, looking at this upper part, you can see it is covered. That was because I took in quarter to half an inch on both sides here so that was why I said to avoid gaping but if that is not here this will be slightly open so for that we need to do this part I'm about to show you so all I have to do now is this so if you want quarter of an inch that's fine half an inch will be somewhere around here so let me just do half an inch from the tip here the same thing from here half an inch can you see that then I'm just going to connect it in the curvy manner to this point or using your straight ruler. So we are doing that to prevent gaping. So before you cut it out, you need to measure so as to still be on track. So now, after altering it, so I have two and a half here. So let me measure the two and a half here. So I have to alter it. So these are the things you do when making your patterns. So that's beautiful. We are done. So let's cut it out. Then before you cut out your measurement, go over the measurements. before I just have to stop now you need to label this cup area because you don't want to mix it up so that was why I took mine so for to label it now since this is the center let me just use C1 for this point C2 for this point then since this is towards the side so let's just use either side as head or back as so it depends so side now side one side two so that's very essential so you don't mix it up
more on how to make this busted top plate with course will come up in our next online advanced class how to make it how to hardwire to it and all that so looking at it this is what it looks like you can even have it without adding this design i just made to it so if you don't want that you just so it or but for those that want that design all you have to do is to cut it up this way You need to add seam allowance to hold the patterns. So can you see how beautiful and easy that looks? Can you see that? So let's quickly move to the back part now. I have my paper here. The first thing you need to take notice of is your zipper allowance, the one inch zipper allowance, or whatever allowance you want to leave. Then your darts, half an inch. You already know how to do that. So you have that back to your waist measurement here then another thing you need to do now is this you won't alter it you won't have this back to it this is to give it more fitting at the upper parts of the top so what i'll just do now is to take between quarter inch to half an inch here to have the back then straight down Let me see that. Haven't done that. Come here within half inch to quarter inch to. This is just to give it more fitting for the type of top we are trying to make. So and that is all on how to make this. So for the back neckline now, I can just make it like. One inch will be too high. Two to three inches is fine. Two inches, three inches. You could even just make it one to two inches above your above your waist. It depends. You can, so it depends on what you want. So for me now, I'll just maintain the two inches here. So this is what I have now. You can see it's very easy. Then for this, you can have a loop to ease. Maybe when you are making a wedding dress and all that. So for loop, you can, and for the loop, you can, there are different styles, you can make it straight, you can make it slanted, it depends on what you want. So if you want that, maybe you just take away, depending on how wide you want the opening to be, between two to three is fine. Just straight down, then add your loop. All that will come up in the advanced class, our online advanced class, how to cover it. If you don't want your loop being open, how to cover it up, everything will be explained in details so let me just cut this out also how to hard wire to your breast curls just to make it outstanding you need to make it so detailed and you know when the piece says it's going to be detailed it will be detailed so just watch out for that but i've got a lot of requests on this so that was why i decided to to draft it and show you and to give you all the tips. For all the panels. Now this is what we have. You can see it is just like the simplest thing ever. So looking at it, so this is the front. This is the back. So when you're cutting it out, it will be on fold. And then you have seam allowance to all the panels. So half an inch on the side, half an inch to this side, half an inch to this side, then half an inch all around each piece. Then here you had your zipper allowance here too since we already added one it does if you want more but if you don't just add it to it then you had half an inch to all this panel the side could be one inch to the m to the upper part to attach the lining so that is just it on how to do that you could add wires to it and trust me i'm going to explain in detail in our upcoming class and you know when blicky says it's going to be 
beautiful and detailed definitely is going to be so in my tutorial on how to make these bustier top wigs cups has been helpful just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so what i will do now is to use my paper tape to tape it up and understand what i'm talking about just try to tape it up. You can see how beautiful it looks. So this area, by the time you sew it on your fabric, it's going to relax so well. So you can see that, and you see the core. You can see I have enough space in the core. Can you see that? So that was what I was talking about, this upper parts, to eliminate the gaping. But if it's for someone that has more boobs, you can reduce it to quarter of an inch. So I still make it beautiful. Can you see that? It's very easy to make. So if my tutorial on how to make a busted top with black cuffs has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And then you have learned some things that this is not a corset. This is a busted top with black cuffs. I love you guys. Please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Please signature. Bye.